Hey friends, welcome to Drive Time with Smashby. Today's topic, your vibe attracts your tribe. That's a sentence I heard from a friend of mine about a year and a half ago, and it's stuck with me ever since. I absolutely love that phrase. What it means to me is that basically the type of energy that you give out will tend to reflect the type of energy you get back in. Now, it's come up lately when friends have been venting about things that kind of bum them out or they're frustrated about. Uh, typically, it's gonna be work, friendships, or their gym life. Sometimes that's a combination of all three of those things. Uh, my goal through this video is to give a couple of pieces of advice on how you can be an active participant in making positive changes to hopefully in turn make you happier about whatever it is you're frustrated or bummed about. I'll make up a couple of random scenarios, but um, hopefully you'll see how they're transferable into any other aspect in life. Uh, the first one, let's just say this, the gym scenario. Crossfitters tend to be kind of competitive sometimes. Uh, most of us know that, most of us have experienced that. We've got that uh, gym nemesis or that frenemy, the person we really like competing against but we kind of hate it or we only like it if they beat us. There's that energy that can be around in the gym of people who are too competitive and not inclusive, right? There's a lot of negative ways that people can internalize and externalize their competitiveness. Um, that sucks. So if you're someone who trains at a certain time of the day and there's another individual or several people who really bring you down, I think a change needs to be made. I've written a couple of blog posts on this in the past, but the first thing you can do is try and shift your own brain and say, you know what? I'm not gonna let them impact me. I'm just gonna worry about myself, I'm gonna do me, and if they wanna be competitive, they wanna shave reps or cheat range of motion, uh, I'm just not gonna let that impact me because I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna worry about myself. But sometimes that's really hard. So what's the advice there? If you can't change it within yourself, maybe try a different class time during the day. If it works out with your schedule, you might meet a whole new group of people, maybe you'll have a great time. Uh, a couple of rare circumstances, some friends of mine who train back east uh, just don't like the coach at their gym. Either the coach is completely unengaged, doesn't care at all. I've heard several stories of a coach saying, hey, here's the workout, then the coach goes back into the office, closes the door, and doesn't come back out for the rest of the class. That blows my mind that that happens. But if it does, a lot of us are going to the gym so we can get coached. Um, other people feel that there's been some intimidation where if they're as good at the coach or better than the coach that the coach doesn't like them or doesn't pay attention to them. That also sucks. Maybe it's just a personality conflict. Maybe you just don't get along with them. Um, if there aren't other classes during the day or other coaches during the week that you can go to their class, sometimes you just gotta try a new gym. It's sad and it sucks sometimes if you have a group of friends there, but if you're gonna be miserable or anxious or nervous every single time you go to the gym, you're either not gonna go or you're gonna be uncomfortable the whole time you're there. Let the gym be your happy place. So that's the gym scenario. Um, what about in social circles, right? This person is super negative all the time, talks poorly about me behind my back or worse to my face. Um, if you're always surrounded by someone or people who are like that, that's gonna bring you down. Golden rule, treat others the way you wanna be treated. And if you're not surrounded by people who uplift you and encourage you and make you wanna be better, I think you need to find a new group. And that also can be hard, especially if you've been friends with people for a really long time. But I can almost guarantee you that if you're willing to put in the time and find those people that you get excited to spend time with, every aspect of your life is gonna to start to get better, right? Work is the same thing. If your boss sucks and you can't do anything to try and change the way he or she reacts with you, even if you're trying to make them look good through your work, gotta look for another job. If you're miserable where we spend most waking hours of our adult life, every other aspect of your life will also suffer negatively. So what my family told me when I was really unhappy at work is look for a gig while you got a gig. If you can physically take it for a little while longer, use the downtime you have to look for a new job, go through the interview process, do all that. If you absolutely can't take it anymore, then bounce. As long as you've got funds to live on, cut ties, put in your two weeks, get out of Dodge, and look for a job when you can. Do something part-time in the meantime, right? Life is about surrounding yourself with positive energy, in my mind. And if you're surrounded by things instead that are constantly just breaking you down, you're gonna be a pretty unhappy person. So, your vibe attracts your tribe. What that means to me is do what you can in your power to surround yourself with people who make you wanna be better. I didn't believe it at first, but the saying, you are the sum of the five people you spend the most time with, has to be true. 
I put myself in that position con constantly and go, it's kind of right. If I'm with Debbie Downers and curmudgeons, I tend to be less excited about things, tend to start being more negative about things and people around me, and that sucks. That's not the person I want to be. If I'm surrounded by people who are motivated, successful, optimistic, and encouraging, who just want the people around them to be happy, I'm a heck of a lot happier too. So let's start this conversation going. What are your thoughts? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Your vibe attracts your tribe. You want to be positive, surround yourself with positive people. Even if it means cutting ties, I can almost guarantee you every aspect of your life will be better for it. Hope you have a great weekend, and I'll talk to you soon.